Hi, welcome to my demonstration on Book Folded. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make something as amazing as this lovely book here. Now, this is actually made up of a hardback book. Now, obviously, at the moment, this is believed this is actually my very first book, and you can do this, and I'm going to show you how. Now, what I've got here is one of my Book Folding books, and when you get them home, they come with full instructions showing you what to do. And I will admit, as a woman, I personally never read some of the instructions, but I want to ask you to make sure you read this bit here. And the reason behind it is this is the most important thing when it comes to book folding. What we've got on here is it says one leaf equals two pages. In a book, what that means is if I go to a page in the book, if I turn this round, you can actually see that one page is on one side and then you've got another page number on the other side. So for a leaf you actually have two page numbers and that's very important when it comes to book folding. The next thing it says on the key, okay, on the key it actually says that one fold equals one page. So if I just get this one here and I left it on the side, to do an actual fold, if I just lift this fold out the way, you can see that I've used two pages because there's a page on either side and that is one leaf and once you understand the key book folding becomes so easy so I'm going to now get to making one of the folds now we're going to do we've done believe now we're going to do faith and it's one of the patterns that we have here so to get started you look at a pattern and it looks a bit complicated but in actual fact it's very easy it's made up of three sections the first section at the top here it says fold and you start at one and you go all the way down you keep on going all the way across until you come to the end which it says to 249 so to make the word faith in your book you need to do 249 folds but to work out what size book you need I mean I've got the instructions on here it tells you that you need to have a book with not le less than 500 pages and that's how you know how many pages you need in the book so I've got my book already so there's my book now in actual fact I've got 504 pages. Now because I have 504 pages, what you do is, remember there's a page on either side, that means that I'm actually going to start one page in and then I'll have, or I should say one leaf in with two pages and then I'll have one left over. Now when you start with your book folding, you go as if you're going to read it, and then you rotate your book so your actual spine is facing you. And that's so important that you get the word the right way up. So my starting point is here. So once I've actually got my book, and I've got my pattern next to me, just here, I'm going to get my ruler. And you can use any type of rulers. These ones are flexible rulers that bend over the books. And you start always from the left-hand side. And my first measurement, if I just move that this way, my first measurement, if I just put it under there so I can see it, is 5.5 and then my second measurement is 5.7. So if I put that there, I will have 5.5, there we go, and then 5.7 and I just find it that way. Now my top tip, and this is very important when it comes to book folding, is you need to tick what you've done. Because you can be at home, the phone can ring, or you can make yourself a cup of tea, and you could forget where you, what you've done. So I'll leave your ruler where it is, tick it that you've done it, then lift your ruler up, and that's one of my top tips. So my next one, hold it there, next one's 12.7, so find 12.7 centimetres and it's 12.9. Remember, tick it. I'm going to do a couple of more so you get the idea. Put the ruler on the left hand side. Next one is 5.5. And then next one after that is 5.7. And then so on. And when I do this at home, what I tend to do is I do a row because I get really, really impatient as a crafter. I like to see the things happening. So my personal preference is I'd mark a whole line. So my next one is 12.7. There you go, and the one after that is 12.9. Tick that. So I would mark the whole line and then I'd fold. But I'm going to show you how to fold now. So you just get your pages. So I'm starting here. You get your ruler. You put your ruler up to your first mark like so. And put, it, put your ruler up to the edge of your spine. And then you fold up to that point. So there's one. Okay, and you do need a bone folder. Make sure you crease that, put that to the other side, and then fold. 
like so. Now if this is a top tip and a lot of people ask me about this, if you find your page goes over the spine all you need to do is lift it up and go up like so and then reinforce that line because you're not going to see it. So then you turn that one over and continue. Always start on the first fold, fold it up to there like so, then move your ruler over to the other side. Don't worry if you think you're not actually achieving anything because it does take time because what you're doing is you're making the word out of the front pages of the book. So even that little tiny little bit there that you can see, that will make some part of a letter. So we've got two more that I want to show you how easy it is. So fold up to that line, like so, move it over. And you'll find when you move them ones over this side, this is when you think, how do I get that right angle up to that ruler? You don't have to. All I'm doing is folding up to that little point and creasing down. And then just use my bone folder, lift it up like so. And that's as easy as it is. Book folding is so easy and all you need to do is have a ruler, have a pencil, and besides a pattern and a book, have a go and happy crafting.